Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the very last video in our Utah home. This is very surreal and just really emotional for us. I feel like we're very attached to this home obviously and it's just been a whirlwind trying to get everything packed and moved and now we're finally here. We actually leave tomorrow. We're gonna live in our camper for a few weeks and then we are moving to Arizona and we could not be more happy with the sweet family that our home is going to here in Utah, but we're still just very emotional about it and it's just very bittersweet. So I figured this would be perfect to do an after dark. I love these videos. They're very peaceful and relaxing. I just so happen to have an entire house that I need to kind of finish packing. There's still a few things, mostly everything's packed and mostly I just need to kind of carry it out to the garage because actually loading up the moving truck, the last few things in there right now. But once we get all that done, I need to just clean this house for the new homeowners. And I figured this would just kind of be the perfect way to end this chapter in our life, I guess. And yeah, so without further ado, let's get to cleaning. I wanna hear you say yeah. So this is honestly very emotional for me just kind of watching this back. This was a very emotional move for our entire family. We are 100% so excited to be moving to Arizona, but at the same time, we are very sad to be leaving this home. When we moved into here about three years ago, we thought that this was going to be our forever home. We weren't planning on moving at all anymore, and it just kind of came as a surprise to us. Um, a lot of you guys have asked why we are moving to Arizona and we actually kind of went into detail on that over on our vlogging channel Which I always have linked down below and I will link it up here so you can watch it after you're done watching this video But we are so excited to just have these new memories and create a new kind of like lifestyle for our family We're just very excited for all of that But at the same time, it's very very bittersweet to be leaving this house We have done a lot of things to this home to make it ours and it's just, you know, kind of hard to leave. But I figured it would be the perfect way to kind of end this journey by doing an After Dark video. A lot of you guys love these. They are some of my most favorite videos to share with you guys. And so I thought this is perfect just to kind of send this house on its way to its new homeowners by sharing an After Dark video as I clean the house to prepare it for them. Also, I'm not going to be doing a ton of voiceover during this video. I'll kind of be popping up like little notes on the screen here and there, but a lot of this video I want it to be really calm and just you guys can kind of listen to the music that I picked out specifically for this video. So I hope you guys not only enjoy the music, but just the vibe and kind of saying goodbye to this house with us.
all so much more than we see they can box us up in walls but that don't change anything there's a sun on the rise painting all the sky blue where the morning meets the night and every color breaks through we learn how to fly through the fall learn how to fight through it all we can see the world getting smaller as we rise up learn how to give what we take learn how to bend but not break to give it all not play it safe every day like it'll be our last alive with the way so these Mighty Bamboo towels are actually a new product that I have not tried. I've actually had them in my pantry for several months and I just haven't actually pulled them out to use them. But they're really cool because they are reusable and so I figured this is perfect. I don't have a ton of my cleaning supplies out at this point and so I just wanted to go ahead and just kind of like dry the sink off with that and then I'll also be using them here and there just kind of throughout my cleaning process. And so far I'm really loving them. I think they're going to be really cool. I haven't actually washed them because we don't have a washer and dryer right now but I'll definitely update you guys whenever I do get around to getting a washing machine and just kind of let you know how they actually hold up in the washer. And then now I am just kind of going through with my e-cloth and I am wiping down all of the countertops and getting that nice and clean and then I will move on to wiping down all of my appliances. With the lines in between, in the shadows we glow as the world falls asleep we're the voices that don't And together we sing What our hearts can't contain Whatever comes next we'll bring All the stories we make We're learning how to fly through the fall Learning how to fight through it all We can see the world getting smaller As we rise up Learning how to give what we take Learning how to bend but not break To give it all not play it safe Every day like It'll be our last alive we're the way back to the stars. We are the dreamers. We are the dreamers. We're the fire that lights up the dark. So a lot of you guys know I love Dawn Power Wash Dish Spray. It works so incredibly well on all of my dishes. And whenever I was sharing my spring cleaning this year, a lot of you guys recommended that I use that for various different things. And one of the things you guys recommended was using it inside of my oven. So I figured I would try that out just to see how it worked as I was cleaning this for the new homeowners. And I do have to say it worked pretty well. I don't feel like I gave it quite enough time to fully work. And so I did end up adding some Bon Ami powder and I feel like the combination of those two did work really, really well. And if you're having a hard time with your oven getting clean, I would definitely recommend these two together. They just worked really great and made it look like new.
So on this night that I was filming this video, it was so unreal just taking everything out of our house and packing it all up and cleaning it up and just seeing these rooms empty and seeing the walls empty and no furniture sitting on the floors. Like it was just so surreal because like I had said, when we first moved into this house, we thought this was going to be our forever home. And so this is so emotional just to go through this process. And honestly, it's still emotional right now as I'm watching this video back and just doing this voiceover. But I am actually filming this voiceover right now in our new Arizona home. And we feel so at home at this place already. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. I'm going to be filming the empty house tour of our new Arizona home this week and I will be sharing that with you guys next Monday. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. I cannot wait to reveal this house and just share everything about it. There's a lot of things that we're wanting to change about it, but it is an amazing house and we are just so grateful that we found it and we just feel like this is exactly where we're supposed to be at this point. So I'm really excited to take you guys along this journey with us. Even though it is a bit emotional, it's just kind of really exciting to see the next chapter in our life. have the main living area all cleaned up. I do still have to do the floors, but I'm gonna have to bring out my mop and everything. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do that last. We actually did already clean up uh, like the upstairs <laughs> earlier, and so that's all done. But now that we have that done, I'm just actually standing in my bedroom. <laughs> there is nothing in here. I mean, there's like a few random things on the floor, but no furniture. So mostly I just need to clear out any of these things. I just need to go to the moving truck. So for now, I'm just gonna put them in the garage and then cut off and move them in the morning. And then once I get everything all cleared out and everything, I just need to vacuum in here because I don't know if you can really, I'm sure you can see, that is all like cat hair and stuff. And then you can see like exactly where our side tables were. I'll show you an up close shot of that. But right where our side tables were, there's just so much dust. And do you see that? Gross. I'll show you an up close of that too but you can tell like right where the heavy furniture was that we had not really moved. So I just need to get that all cleaned up and then also take these pictures down because I think we are gonna take these ones with us.
just a touch and you've got my attention Is it possible you are perfect? Now it's burning me up like a fire And your loving is taking me higher Cause all I want is you forever Yes, all I want is you forever When you touch me Upside down, you move me. You'll always find my head when you're reaching out. Since day one, my love, I think we both know that when you touch me, I'm melting to you. So I would love to know from you how many times you have moved in your life or how many times you've moved like in your adult life and which was your most like emotional move. I know for us, it's actually been this current move just because like I said, we were planning on staying in this home forever and we just are really attached to this house. And so this was definitely the hardest move for us emotionally, although we are really excited, but we have actually moved eight times since being married almost 12 years ago. And it's just been kind of like something we've always done. Kyle was in the Air Force for a long time. And so that was just kind of like the normal for us. And now that he's out, we apparently still kind of get the itch to move every now and then. So we were only in this house for about three years before deciding to move to Arizona. And we kind of think that we'll be there for quite a while. We might even decide to stay in Arizona forever. Only time will tell and we'll just kind of see where life takes us. But let me know in the comments where all you have moved before, how many times you've moved, and which place was your favorite or hardest to leave. Oh, gets a little turned up upside down you move me you'll always find my hand when you're reaching out you know that i'll be yours forever love so right now baby touch me All right, we are <laughs> cruising right through. We're not really cruising, we're just taking our time. And my body is so tired. We have just been going hard at like taking everything out, packing everything, loading the moving truck, all that stuff straight for like three days. So this is the end of it though. We are down in our basement. So this was like where our couch was. We are actually not taking the map. I've gotten that question so many times. And one, it's just pretty hard to take off and two, mostly just the people that are buying the house from us or that bought the house from us, the new homeowners, they actually requested to keep it in the house and we don't mind at all. They have been, like I said, just so kind and helpful and just so accommodating, just like 
the most amazing people. So we are leaving that for them, but we might end up getting one for our new house. I'm not really sure. So as you can see, pretty much everything is emptied out. I do still have the mirror up, so I have to take that down. And otherwise, everything is out of here. We are leaving a few different things here and there, like little pieces, and then like a few furniture pieces like that. Here's Luke's room and basically everything except his curtains and those shelves are gone. And then our bathroom that we finished just in the nick of time. So here's our bathroom. I'll have to clean that and then vacuum. We have really, really, really good vacuum on this floor. Packing and moving stirs up so much dust. So anyway, enough talking, I'm procrastinating. Let's get back to it. And then once we're done with here, we will go back upstairs and do the floors up there. I need to sweep or I need to vacuum and mop. And then I also have to, I just want to share something, one special thing that we're actually doing for the new homeowners. So let's get to it. So you will have to let me know what was your favorite makeover space in this house. I know we did a lot of different things. We decorated offices, we made over guest rooms, we did our laundry room makeover, pantry multiple times, and we also of course did our entire basement including this bathroom. Now I will link my home makeovers playlist up above for you guys and also down in the description box so you can go ahead and check those out if you have missed any of the makeovers because even though we are moving out of this home it was just really fun to share that and i think even though we're not actually living here anymore it's still really a fun process just to kind of see the whole house transform and it was neat because all of it was done kind of like throughout the entire time we lived here we just recently finished this bathroom like within the last month which was definitely a bummer to not be able to enjoy it longer but i'm so happy that the new homeowners can just enjoy it now and be able to have a completely finished basement with this beautiful bathroom and just make so many memories for their own family.
Raise a voice, hear it echo. That's how it always goes. One heart's breaking while another one is mending. It's all in the ebb and flow. If I had to, I could go it alone, but I don't ever need to because I have a home somewhere to run to. I could. Well, this is the last time I'm going to say goodbye at the end of a video in this home. It's very, very bittersweet to be leaving, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I hope that you guys will continue to come along with us on our journey to Arizona. The next video that you guys will see will be our empty house tour in our new home in Arizona, and I just cannot wait to share that with you. Before we left our Utah home, we did want to do one special thing for the new homeowners, and as you guys may have noticed, we've always had a family sign next to our stairs in this house, and we really always loved it. It just fit that space so perfectly, and so we actually wanted to get one made custom for the new homeowners and just get that put up so that when they walk into the home in just a few days, they are able to see their name and their family sign in the same spot that ours was. And we just hope that this will make them really happy seeing that and make them feel really welcome and at home in this house. I feel like I'm kind of at a loss for words, not really even knowing how to end this video, but thank you so much for being here and watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and we will see you in the next one. to the ground these walls could fall right down the lights could all burn out because this house is not my home crumble into dust